Some children find it very difficult to concentrate. They find it very difficult to sit still. They're very fidgety. And you might have noticed with your child that they've never been able to sit still, be able to watch all the way through a TV programme. You take them to the cinema and they want to get up and go and get more popcorn or ice cream. That even at home, when they were very young, sitting down to read a story with them was difficult. They might have been the child that tried to climb out of the cot or over the stair gate, much more hyperactive maybe than some of their other ch your other children. So attending and concentrating is vital for learning. You need to be able to stay on task for any length of time in order to be able to learn any task you want to do. So if your child's got difficulty concentrating and it seems to be really difficult to get them to sit down to do homework, this might be a concern. And you might want to talk to school as well to see whether this is just at home or school is seeing similar pattern of difficulties. Your child is getting up and being impulsive, answering out of turn in class. They find it difficult to sit still at story time. They find it difficult to stay on task. They start a project, but they find it difficult to complete a project. And these may be signs of attention and concentration problems. If you see a problem um, with attention and concentration, and you've seen it at home, and you've seen at school, you've gone to school and talked to the teachers, and they say they've seen a similar problem while your child has been at school, then this may indicate attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Certainly if the child has had difficulties before the age of seven and it's continued to be a problem in both settings, this may warrant a referral to a child and adolescent psychiatrist. When you go to see them, if your child needs to go, they will gather information from yourself and from school in more detail. They'll interview you to gather information over a period of time to see what your child's been like since a young age. And once they've gathered that information, they may go to school for a school visit as well, or get one of their team to visit. And once that's been undertaken, then they may then will make a decision whether your child has got attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or not. And if they do, then they'll consider what's the appropriate treatment. And this can be behavioural approaches at school and at home, and medication where appropriate.